Let's talk for a second about yard sales and why they exist. So I run a Patreon and subscribe start for supporting this channel. And every month I put 10 to 15 items in there and just sell them because I'm done with them. This is a product that is so groundbreaking that I put the sticker on it. All right. This is the Shandling H7. And I love it. It'll be in the yard sale. That is the Shanling H5. Don't know why we're sticking to odd numbers, but we are. And it is currently playing off its internal SD card or micro SD card into the beautiful Fio headphones, which what the fuck's your model number again? Like the FF3s, it doesn't matter. They're great. I even braided the cable to make it like 700 feet shorter. But the point is, if you go back, I just I just want to hear more music. If you go back and watch my review of the H7, you'll understand why I personally was like enamored by it. Because I keep getting daps, and you know what a dap is, a digital audio player. It means it's got a screen, whether it's running Android or not, and it's got built-in amps and built-in DAX, and you have all your music on it, and you do your thing. And I'm going to get right to the point, because people are going to leave. This unit on Amazon right now is $829, the H7. This unit, which for all intents, is per int intents and purposes, is the exact same unit, only a slightly improved screen, a little less power and some less battery life. Everything else is identical. That unit it's $369. $369. There's a $500 evaporated. And for as far as I can tell, they're almost identical in functionality. All right? There are some changes. There is definitely less power in this little guy than this. But just the space savings alone in your pants... You're going to gain it back with something else in your pants. So just, all right. Um, I have to take one of these wires off. The longer wire came with the, the smaller unit and the shorter wire, which I really do adore this thing. So let me explain. Um, I, I could literally just show you this one because everything about it, except for the shape of the screen, is identical on both. So I'll do that. Um, you have RCA outputs on the back. If I unplug these headphones, the Fios, and put it up there, and music is still playing, which it is now. It is now. Now the RCA outputs are activated because they wait for nothing to be in front and you'll be playing music. There's multiple ways to play music, by the way. We're going to get to it because um, I fucking love this thing. So now it's acting as a DAC and is feeding these um, bat ear with microphone extension roads. by the way. Did you know that the road came with, now with the microphone? Off of the Rebel Amp. It's feeding the Rebel Amp off these waterproof CESS -R -R RCAs, which I really like, which I twisted in a beautiful thing. So now, keep in mind, this is 800 and summon, and this is 369, and they do the same thing. So RCA outputs out the back, so it could act as a source, a good source, a good DAC. Next to it, you have a 3.5 millimeter that says digital in. It doesn't care if it's a coaxial digital, like this has currently in it, comes with this amazing adapter wire, which is just a 3.5, oh, please find the hole, oh, baby. And then a, a thing, so you could run it like that. I have it on an extension here to run off my normal thing, or, you could buy one of these little adapters, take a 3.5 out of your optical cable, because you could run optical or coaxial digital into the unit to, to act as a source. So I'll do that in a second. We'll play Run the Jewels off of this computer here. Short and thick. Short and thick. Then you've got two USB-C plugs. USB DAC. USB slash DAC. So it'll actually, I think it'll act as a card reader for the micro SD card or you could plug this in, just USB, dongle, like boom, zoop it around to your phone or your laptop, and all of a sudden now this unit or that unit, because they're the same, um, will become a USB device. 
There's an SD card, a micro SD card. That was the real thing with this unit. And I complain, oh, daps, daps, I got the screen, you got to interact with them. But then this unit, you put the micro SD card in here and you could use the Shanling app via SyncLink to control everything that's happening on this on there. That was also the downfall of this $800 unit. Oh, and I mentioned Bluetooth, it'll act as Bluetooth. I think just receiving, I don't think it'll send. I don't think it will send. Now I'm questioning that because here's the thing. At $800, this fucker better perform perfectly and it doesn't. At $369, I will overlook some issues because this essentially becomes when you're done with the BTR7, when you're tired of IFI products, the Shandling H5 can just Bluetooth to your phone and become one of the best DAC amp combos, the portable Bluetooth DAC amp combos. So, so coaxial digital in, fiber optic in, USB in, Bluetooth in, and it hosts its own fucking SD card. Problem with the SD card. Get this off the bat. It um, can't read, uh, how do I put this, folders. I put, I, I had this unit forever. I had an SD card in it and I left it in there and I've got this unit and I forgot this fucking quirk. I just took a SD card out of some other portable DAP that I was testing, popped it in there, and I hit play, Amber Rubarth's on, great, next. Amber Rubarth is on a different Amber Rubarth, Amber Rubarth, Amber Rubarth, Amber Rubarth. There's only 17 tracks on this device. That card had 6,000 songs. I remembered, then it hit me. For some reason, it will not read outside of the first folder. So the card that was in this one is a card I special made where I stripped all the FLAC files and DSD files and MP3 files into just the main directory and said, fuck it. And I moved it from there to here and it works fine. It shuffles through all the music. Problem with shuffling through all the music is if you try to use the app, you get, there's, there's a bunch of it here. I don't know if it's all here, but you also, you can't search. So you better hope your shit's perfectly labeled in file names like mine is. And if you want to put on Prodigy Poison, you can. That's a long intro to Poison. But, so, that was the gripe I had, is that this would work great if the SD card could, A, be a normal SD card and just read, and B, the app communicating with it could just list the folders, search, this is very basic. You could favorite something, you can next track, you can look at the list, but only as a the fucking, that's it, list. Prodigy Poison is now playing. Um, God, I love Prodigy Poison. This also acts, by the way, through the RCA as a preamp. So I don't believe you could set line level but if, if you see, I'm lowering the lowering it here. We've got the screen pops up. Nice little bar graph. It's showing it on the app. And it's controlling the volume coming out of the RCAs. I miss the Prodigy. I'm so sad that he passed away. Anyway. The screen is now showing. I have it plugged in with USB because this one was... I used it so much I left it and it was dying. Um... It's showing bad. I don't know. Can I fucking show this with a camera? Maybe I can. It's real small. But, oh, that's that's not going to work. It, it went to sleep. So we've got three lights. MQA light, which no one's going to ever use ever. A kilohertz light, which changes color. And a red light that says charge, because we're currently charging it. Then the screen has the battery indicator. It says H for high gain. The volume is at 46. And below that, it says play. PCM 441, 1 minute and 48 seconds, and there's a progress bar at the very bottom. Now, I know that you're like, that's great, Zeus. What did this one do? This one had a very long screen. There. Much darker, much duller. You can see it's like barely lighting up. It says no TF car, but it had, you know, there's your volume. And it had a narrower, wider screen. This one's much shorter and twice as high. One of the main problems I have with it, it persists, but again, I'm willing to overlook so much because this is now affordable and smaller and better. 
is that while it's playing off the SD card, while it's showing it here, Prodigy Poison, it doesn't show it on the unit at all. So if you're sitting there and you next track, which by the way, the, the uh, next track is wake up the screen with a knob twist and do that, and now it's going to next track. Now, Corn for no one is playing, but I don't know that. You have to be willing, and I, I personally am, you have to be willing to just let whatever music you put on the SD card shuffle, because that is not the main purpose of this. This one it was trying to be a DAP, it was trying to take over and be removing it and use the app completely, and it couldn't do it. But this one, imagine you just went out and this is your Bluetooth, in, that's it, it's your Bluetooth device. Your phone, you connect to it, you send your, your audio to it in fucking LDAC, it reads in LDAC, it's perfect. BTR7, eat your goddamn heart out. And then for some reason, oh, my phone's dying or I gotta make a phone call, I gotta do something. You could just use the SD card as like a backup. You click the button, the, uh, the operations are as follows. This is the power, turn on and off the screen, you, you launch and, and I would say unlaunch the unit. So you hold it down, it turns off. I'll show you there's a little, little lame animation. See, power off, it says, if you could read that. You hold it again, you let go. It says power, it says Shanling H5 with a spinning like star, like a ninja star on it. And it says in TF card mode. If we, it comes up paused. If we press that once, we unpause. It is now playing. Turn this knob, you get volume. You wait, the screen turns off. You got to wake up the screen by turning one of the knobs, and then it'll do it. Obviously, in this mode, you turn that once, and it changes tracks once. It actually disconnected from the app because I shut it off, so you'd have to go in and make sure it connects. It's a... Fix it, Shanling. Um, the problem I have with this system is I wish there was more safety on the next track because this is pretty big. Even though it's small, it's still pretty fucking big. And these knobs stick out a lot and they get real close to the edge and they're real easy to turn. You see this? You hear all those clicks? You hear all these clicks? Every time it goes click, click, click. Track change, track change, track change, track change. Oh my God. I was I went shopping with it and I had it in like, a, I have a cute little pocket in one of my, my pants that I like sat in. Like this much of it was in there and it was a stick of that. And I accidentally brushed against it and I heard four songs start in two seconds. I was like, nick, 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 and then it just played something. And I'm like, oh my God. And because it woke up the screen. So when the screen's asleep, you have to wake it up before it does that. Um, so yeah, the main, this right thing, that is what it does. Power on and off and play pause. The left knob is track change when you're in this mode. And then if you push it in, you get to switch through the options. So you got UAC1 USB which you could change in the menu. Bluetooth, which will, um, let's see, my phone should just automatically connect to it. Yes, it did, Shailing. So I go here, go to my foo bar, dig in my potato. Same song I played with DMS on the HE1. Put this up. What are we playing out of? Let's go into the menu holding this side down first thing gain high so let's go gain low next thing play mode shuffle repeat straight through playlist repeat one shuffle obviously if you have a SD card with 6,000 songs you might want to shuffle you got your filter settings from zero sharp roll off slow roll off look at the fucking words they're writing there short delay sharp roll off written out fully it could definitely do song titles so you have six different dis uh, filters pick five i don't know. then you have a choice between dac single and dac dual you can put it in dual dac mode it'll kill the battery a little faster but the audio quality is a little better then you have the brightness adjustment which is so much brighter than this ever got this son of a bitch that was this is like let me see if i go in here i'm gonna keep playing with that and we're gonna go boom boom low dispersion yeah this is as bright as this one gets and it feels like it's broken. It doesn't even light up. This one actually gets bright. So it's a better screen. I liked how cool and long that one was, but the shorter, taller, brighter screen is absolutely appreciated. Then you have switch mode on and off, which I remember what that is, but I'll tell you, after, look in the description. Um, and then you have this, which is very important for a lot of people and it doesn't exist. Balance. 
literally a left and right balance with a nice centering. You could you could bias it left or right, and I believe that also works for the outputs in the back. So if you're trying to balance a stereo system with it, you can do that. Followed by sync link on or off, which is the one that communicates with the app. Then you could rotate the screen 180 degrees. So if you want to use a unit like this, you can. If you want to flip the screen, use a unit like this, you can. It'll rotate the orientation of the words 180 degrees. Then you have the auto off, I set for 30 minutes. System update, which you'd have to do with an SD card. Reset, which is reset. And then the version number is 1.1. .1, and we're back to gain low. So now with gain low, I'm going to take these $1,100 IMs, which if you haven't seen my inner fetish review of the Thy Audio Monarch Mark III's, go now. Uh, but hide your wallets and hide your wives because these are an exceptional IM. And to make it even better, they work great on the render tips. They work the best on the render tips, let's put it that way. So 10 drivers in each. And I'm going to tell you this, low gain, 69 out of on 99. The qual, like I'm going US, I'm going Bluetooth right now to this. Bluetooth. And granted, these are the most exceptional IMs in the world, as far as I can tell. But going Bluetooth off my phone into this, into these, and low gain is as good as... This is an I am fucking dream. You got 4.4 and 3.5 in the front, which actually I should say that that's different because you got a fucking quarter inch in this one, which is just like, okay. That's the only physical difference between the screen. And they just, they said, you know what? We don't need a quarter inch and you fucking don't need a quarter inch. Maybe that was the entire length reason for the length. But this, holy shit. Let's take out the coaxial and we'll do we'll do optical here. Just for fun. We'll just do that. So now we're on Bluetooth LDAC. Press it in again. Optical 96. Now this is playing. Oh, I wanted to come out of out of this headphone instead. I just unplug this. Now the volume doesn't change. I would prefer the one little thing is if you're going to use the rear as a adjustable preamp. I would Wait a second, I just it did it did change. Hold on, I'm taking this to 85 and then I'm plugging this back in. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh, it went to 66! Yes! My incompetence has surprised me once again! I didn't do that last time. I also had the volume of the exact same thing. So it does remember. So I unplug this. It should go back to 85. Oh, beautiful, baby. Beautiful. So I can leave that on 100, adjust this volume properly. I wonder now, wait a second, so it's 85 out of the 4.4. Let's see what happens when I plug in the 3.5. 66. Wait, let's take it down. Let's take it down to 45. 100. And let's put it back to this and see if it's 45 or 66. How cool are we? How cool are we? Ah. Okay, so it only remembers one volume for the front out and then one volume separate for the back out. Fine, I'm accepting of that. All right, go back. I saw Kevin Pankin. Kevin Pankin. The Prushka sequence. That's definitely not going to be sad or anything. Ah. <sighs> These are fucking these IMs are stupid. Go watch the, the, the go watch the goddamn Thy Audio Monarch Mark III. They're, they're just So anyway, yeah, this unit, this unit here. That's you. It it's it's less than half as much. They have have the price would have been four hundred and something. It's three sixty nine. It, let's unplug all the sh shit from it. It's it's not super, like it's big and it's thick, but that's portable. This is coming with me to UK. This is coming to London, Can Jam. This will be the thing that I bring to all the booths and I plug in because it's like, I, I want to see how this sounds on my music and whether I need to search and put Spotify or Tidal on my phone to Bluetooth to it or if I want to rely on the shuffling magic of the five... 
10,000 songs that are on my fucking SD card. If I want to charge it, if I want to use a digital in from something. Although I don't know why I would use a digital in from something. It'd be kind of cool if it had a digital out, if that was also in or out. But, you know, I'm this one I would expect it for $800. This one I let it, like, you know, I don't expect all that. But it's just everything I fucking wanted that this did for a price that's actually reasonable. So... Do you want it? It says Zeo's dick on the bottom of it. That's why I know I can't. I was testing a label maker. Just don't worry about it. Um, yes. Yes. This is, this is, I didn't even think to do the review because I've been using it so much. And I just came down here and I'm like, right, I got to do something. Like, And I just literally picked up this whole pile and moved it to see what was under it. And I'm like, oh, wait. That's right. I haven't reviewed this yet. And it's fucking amazing. I should probably get to that. So, yeah. Um, Shanling. This glass panel, by the way, that says MQA under glass, fuck, fuck all that. Get a sticker, like I did on this one, it has the same glass panel, and just cover it. It won't ruin the Bluetooth that much. The reason it's a glass panel, because the whole thing's made of metal, except for the fascia there, which is also glass and fingerprints, but that's for the for the Bluetooth to work through. So I'm going to find some sort of nice anime sticker, or maybe, maybe even give it the honor of having, like, a Z-Reviews sticker. Boom, right there. Because... This son of a bitch, man. It's it's what I it's what it is the ideal solution for portability, minus a couple fucking angry quirks of like, well, the app needs to work better. But if you're just a shuffler like I am, then the SD card on it, that's a bonus. I'm usually gonna be Bluetoothing to this until my phone's like dying or can't be in use, and then I'm like, you know what? Switch to the internal. You'll never run out of music. As far as battery life goes. It isn't as long as this. We're lo you're losing probably 40% of the power. This thing was designed to like power full-size headphones. And at $800, I'd expect it to. At $369, if I can plug my goddamn... Let's see those. Uh, we're going to put that on medium gain because I think it needs medium gain. So go boom, medium gain. And then I think we hold it down again to get out if you want to get out faster. So we're at 82, which is probably too loud. I'll lower that. And you know what? We're going to switch it to click from optical to coaxial to TF card mode. We're going to unpause it. And we... Corn song is back on. Next track. I wish that you had to, that I had the option to make it so I had to click like three times to change tracks. So it's like, next. Okay, actually change tracks. Next. Okay, actually change track. Of course, every single yeah a little it just i can feel it also the bags it comes with they didn't make the bag any smaller so you get a full size shandling bag with this tiny little bastard which is kind of hilarious oh speaking of bags before i forget i'm going to order this as soon as i finish this review cuz i found it um boom $26 shandling sells a leather case for it I'm gonna, this is gonna be like my carrier on unit for a while. I wish it was sent to me, by the way, in silver. There is silver and black. And the silver one, I think, looks, or it's titanium color. I think that's just sex on, on a stick. I love her place. God, this sounds so good. It's absolutely, like, able to test things. Like, I could test equipment on it. I test IMs on it. Test spe headphones on it. Test speakers on it. It is, I tried to plug this in. If you watch my Sennheiser HE1, I tried to source this into the Sennheiser HE1 because people said the DAC in that is eh. Unfortunately, that thing got dropped on its ass and literally the RCAs out of this sounded like hot garbage going into that. It was like, <laughs> like oh God, ge demons. This is fucking, this is, this can go in the yard sale. I don't need an $800 one of these with more power. You want to bid on that? You know how the yard sales work? First of the 10th of every month. Pause. Pause. That's another little quirk, is that you have to wake up the screen first, then you can pause, then you can change track, then you can volume. Good on one hand, because you don't accidentally, but at the same time, I don't want to tap and then wait and then tap again to pause. So it, it, it needs some usability touches, but way better than dealing with that for $800. I'd rather deal with it for $369. Um, mouse pad also in the description.
Where was I? Who was I? When was I? Oh, anyway, so, yeah, no, that'll end up in the yard sale first to the 10th of every month, and I ship free content to the United States and Canada, half shipping international. So no matter where you live, Bangladesh, India, China, uh, uh, Australia, although South Africa is pretty rough when you're shipping to there, and as long as you're willing to pay half the shipping, you can bid whatever you bid and then half that. This will stay with me for a while with its slightly longer, amazing little... Because look how short this is. Look how short this is. So you get that cool coaxial cable. You get this. You get the box with the shininess. Oh. You know what? I don't remember what's in here. How do I get this out? Hold on. Ugh. Pay sure to subscribe so support this channel. Uh, if you want to see reviews early, participate in those yard sales. This is the original. This is the one that came with it. That's the one from the older one. But yeah, no. There's not much in the way of like, oh my god, magic accessories. I do like how soft this box is. But yeah, no. Patreon, subscribe, start support this channel. See you reviews early. Participate in yard sales. Here's sound demos for headphones and speakers that you don't get on YouTube anymore because YouTube doesn't has lawyers. Um, and I don't trust them. Uh, if you get into the $10 tier, you get into the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat as well, where you can ask me questions directly and get into a lifetime swap me channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. So if you buy this in the yard sale and realize in the end that you don't really want it anymore, you can try to sell it for the exact same amount of money you bought it in that thing, no matter if you're a patron of mine or not. I'm done. She's done. We're done. And I can go put this back where it belongs, which is upstairs next to my keys, because that's where I take it. This is about as serious audio file as you can get while still having a bit of convenience. And soon it'll be wrapped in leather. Bound in it, maybe. All right, I'm good, you're good, we're good. See you in two, two days, and maybe at the Can Jam in London.